Yeah, so I spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, deciding whether or not uh, which degree suited me the best. Um, I was out of uh, the academia for quite some time after finishing year 12 uh, and I wasn't entirely sure what to choose. I weighed up a few other options entirely different to those of the environments. Um, but when I decided to, I had a look at the environments degree, uh, probably the biggest thing that was in the environments was choice. Um, being able to choose um, exactly which major you wanted to do um, whilst you were still studying. I think that's probably one of the biggest uh, attributes of the environments degree. Uh, I, I, um, when I was considering both majors, I had, uh, had a look at both architecture and construction management. Uh, architecture, I really enjoyed the design aspect, however I'm a bit more of a, a practical person. So when it came to choosing exactly which major I wanted to do after having dappled in both of, in both of the uh, majors, I decided on construction management uh, purely because of the, uh, first of all, a balance between people and, and dealing with people, as well as uh, uh, some design aspects, being able to manage some design and of course the construction technology was very, very um, a big part of it that I really enjoyed. So uh, my favourite subjects were environmental building systems, that was where the technology of uh, environmental and green sustainable building came in. Uh, we learned a wide variety of both residential and uh, commercial uh, environmental technologies and it was great to be able to uh, see how the, the world of construction is changing and architecture is changing to adapt to new ESD and environmental requirements. Uh, the capstone subject which is project planning studio was a very big part which, which brought together uh, all the aspects we'd learnt over the three years and put them together in almost like a real world sense where we were able to uh, plan a project from its uh, inception and design right through to delivery, um, working out uh, logistics, uh, cranes, uh, you know, concrete pours, uh, a variety of different construction aspects, um, bringing that together with, uh, within a team and working towards a finished project which was delivered. One of, the, one of the industry people who came in and had a chat to us as part of Project Planning Studio, who's actually now my, my current boss uh, at the uh, company I work for, he uh, came in and was involved heavily in Project Planning Studio. Um, as far as I understand, he helped mould the way in which the subject was taught, the aspects that were covered. Um, and then to have him and have a ch come in and have a chat to us with a fellow colleague from the company um, was great. And by talking and connecting with him, it, it, you know, I was able to get, gain an understanding of what was involved in the prac year and what they were looking for within the industry. So yeah, it was, it was quite interesting to work with him, even though he's now my boss. So it's, yeah, it was <laughs> a great experience, I guess. So it just reiterates how important it is to. Um, gain connections and I think by bringing in industry people which Melbourne makes a big part of especially with the pro project planning studio that was a key element. Mm. <laughs> it was an adjustment I think anyone would find that uh, university life uh, the hours are very uh, how do we say, um, you, know, you can uh, adapt your own hours within university, but having said that, um, going into work and um, working full time is very rewarding. Uh, the big thing that I've found is, has been a very good link between uh, what was taught at university, especially through the capstone subject. Um, a lot of the things I learnt there were the foundations to what the tasks I'm doing at, at work at the moment. So um, it was really critical to, to, um, to learn those, those things in the capstone subject. Uh, so the environments degree offers a broad spectrum of understanding um, and even though the major allows you to specialise in a particular field, be it construction management, uh, there are a number of uh, extended management skills and the subjects that are involved in the, in the master's program that I want to be a part of and want to extend my knowledge and understanding. Um, the industry gives a fantastic uh, or industry experience or real world uh, scenarios but I also think uh, what university can teach you is the ability to 
be critical of everything around you. And I, I see walking into an industry, coming out of, uh, with minor experience from coming out of university, already there are things that are, I guess you'd say, the industry is set in its ways. Um, and a university student and someone who, who's able to challenge that would potentially help uh, a company extend into the future. So yeah, I find it really important the balance between uh, you know studying and learning and and gaining a greater depth of understanding and knowledge, as well as having real world experience. So uh, to be able to balance the two is critical, and I think the master's program will offer me the ability to extend that further. Yeah. Yeah, so the broad, broad range of subjects in first year it gives you a very, very broad perspective on what's, what is the built environment, what is the natural environment. And it's, I do believe it's critical to have an understanding, if not anything else, of what the different, uh, what the different aspects of um, the built and natural environment are to develop relationships with people who you wouldn't normally work with within a, a specific major and to gain a sympathetic relationship with them. Um, so when you learn some of the basics uh, that were established in first year, uh, you do draw on those in, in second and third year, um, even if it's just fundamentals. Uh, so in the future, after five or ten years of being out in the industry, I hope to be in charge of a, a, a multi-million dollar project, whether it be a, a residential, commercial, well, I'm not type, too sure. Um, but I really want to in, incorporate environmental and sustainable design to ensure that those aspects of, of, of the, you know, which are part of the future be integrated and be extended within the project, because I think at the moment there's a, a lack within the industry to adopt uh, new technology and, and, and there's a, a lack of appreciation for what um, can be achieved by incorporating environmental sustainability and design um, within current building uh, regulations and current building projects. So yeah, to have a mix of working with a large project, delivering it on time, but also to incorporate environmental design and sustainability within the project is probably where I'd want to be.